supercharged by the M3 family of chips, the most advanced we've created for a laptop. My friends, open your favorite browser and hunt down UTM and the wizardry tool that allow us to install ARM-based operating systems on Apple Silicon M1, M2, and M2 and M3 chip. Snatch it from their website and install that bad boy like you're hacking the matrix. Now, onto the real deal. Download the Kali Linux, ISO. Don't forget the Apple Silicon Arm based image. Kali offers beta and stable versions. Pick your poison and download like a boss. I have done my homework. Behold the weekly image because, you know, I roll with the latest with UTM armed in the ISO in your grasp. It's time to unleash Kali Linux on your PC. Hit that plus icon like you're summoning a cyber demon. Virtualize or emulate, we're not here for a tea party. Choose virtualize. And slap Linux in the face, feeling cheeky. Enable Apple virtualization, it's Kali Linux approved. The iPort that I SOU downloaded earlier. Um, allocate some resources. I'm rocking eight, eight gigs of RAM. So let's not get greedy. I stick with two gigs for the installation drive. 30 gigs is the magic number. And no, we're not sharing storage with our pleb host machine. You can share storage from host machine if needed. Name your virtual machine. Let's call it Kylie because subtlety is overrated. Save it and let's rock. Before launching. Give those settings a once over, modify them if you're a cyber god with specific preferences. Now let's launch Kali Linux. Do the basic setup. Don't give it a name. and a password, make it more secure than your crush's DMs. Set up, set your time zone. Pro hackers, it's your time to shine. For the rest, follow my lead. Choose that virtual disk and hit continue. Format that disk. Hell yeah. It's this free uh, space. It's our playground now. Select it and smash that continue button. Is this thing my headaches here? Let the machine handle it. All in one partition, finish it, confirm, hell yes. S, installation time, get cozy. It's a watch party now.
base installation completed. Now let's uh, uh, pimp our ride, keep it clean and minimal. We're not installing tools now. We'll do that later, like a hacker boss. Desktop environment, your call. I dig gnome. But you can choose KDA or XFCU. Please hit continue when you're ready to unleash hell. And installation time again. Unplug any USB lurking around and keep the party going. Boom, Kali is in, grub boot loader. Enter your secure password and let the hacking comments. Minimal setup, fewer tools at check. Home screen looking sleek. Household time. Okay, check that version. ER machine, latest Kylie. Utilizing only 60 allocated two gigs of RAM. Uh, web browser time, charm level 100. Now let's peek at the host machine. Using a mere six gigs out of eight gigs RAM. Impressive. Now, just another day in the hacker's paradise. And kicking. Uh, but the Wi-Fi is a snooze fest, no worries. The tutorials got your back with third-party network adapters. A tail for another video. That's a wrap for this video. Go forth my future hackers and install Kylie Linux on your M1. M2 and M3 chips inside your MacBook like the true cyber legends you're destined to be.